Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another parameter that is maintainer. So the maintainer instruction in a Docker file is used to specify the author or maintainer of the Docker image. It typically includes the name and email address of the person or team responsible for creating and maintaining the image. I will try to open the notepad. Let's try to. We'll try to. So this is the file. So the maintainer. So here we are trying to learn about the maintainer. Maintainer. And this one is the <coughs> command which is responsible for typically include which includes the name followed by email address. Okay. So the syntax for this one is maintainer and you will be providing the name followed by space and email address. So this is the syntax for this one. So now for example, let's say that the code simply is so here oh, it will be so the same thing you can have it instead of having the name here I can write let's say Leela Webdev and if you want to have any email ID you can mention it in the square bracket that is nothing but uh, Leela Webdev at gmail.com so like this you will be having so like this you need to mention so now important considerations you need to consider is actually this maintainer parameter is deprecated so this maintainer instruction has been deprecated since doc, docker version 1.13 it is recommended to use the label instruction instead of using the maintainer so it is recommended to use the label instruction i will try to show you this label instruction but to provide the maintainer information instead label instruction instead to provide the maintainer information labels versus alternative labels provide a more flexible way to add the metadata to the docker images so like this why because of the reason so labels provide a more flexible to add metadata to the docker images so that is the reason maintainer has been deprecated so now <clears throat> If you want to check the view the maintainer information means you can use the docker inspect command and image name then you can able to see the maintainer information of a image using this docker inspect command so if you try to inspect docker inspect if you use this command docker inspect and the image name if you provide it then you will be able to see the image maintainer information so this is one thing which i want to tell you and and another one which i want to tell you is the key points is the maintainer instruction is purely informational and does not affect the build or runtime behavior of the docker image so this we maintainer is purely it will provide the information only so it, it provides it doesn't have any effect with the build or runtime behavior of the docker image and placement it is conventionally placed after the from instruction in the docker file so where it will be placed is it will be placed after the from instruction and multiple maintainers so for example, let's say that if there are multiple maintainers, so if for example, if the Docker image is, multi, is developed by multiple users means, then you can use multiple label instructions or combine the information in a single label using a suitable format. So that is the reason. So if you are having a, a multiple means, so you will, be, you will not be able to add it easily, right? So that is the reason maintainer is deprecated and label has been introduced. So you can use the label instruction or combine the information in a single label instruction to implement the multiple maintainers so that is all about the maintainer so now let's try to see about how we can implement this maintainer thing now if you go here and here if i try to write it so this is our docker file right so vm we are having docker file i am opening this one so in the i i am writing maintainer so maintainer okay leela webdev and here i will be writing leela webdev at the rate gmail.com okay so like this we need to write it you if you want you can mention it as in double quotes also not a problem so you can mention this all the things in a double quotes also it's not a problem so that's it so now if i try to do wq and now let's try to build the image so how we can build the image docker image build hyphen t we are giving the tag name ubuntu hyphen demo and the dot means the current build directory the docker file will be found so now if i press enter now it will try to build the image now it is building the image and finished so if you want to check it means docker image ls and you will be able to see a none none means nothing but these are called as an untagged images now when we try to build the same image means so the previous image will be untagged and another new image will be built and the tag will be assigned to this one so that is the reason you'll be able to see none so these are called as an untagged images now if you want to check docker inspect 
sorry docker inspect ubuntu hyphen demo right docker in ubuntu hyphen demo and here somewhere you will be able to see the maintained information so somewhere you will be able to see yeah here you will be able to see other leela web dev leela web dev gmail.com so this is how you'll be able to see and the double quotes has been added to this one so if you don't want means so we can uh, uh, remove the double quotes okay so i and i can remove the double quotes so now it will be clear i think so there is no need to mention and again we need to oh sorry so now still we are we will be able to see so why because so we need to build the image so i am building the image now if i build the image now you will be able to see see it has been built and now the cache is there so if i want to inspect this one so now here you will be able to see the other now you will be able to see in a correct way so this is the usage of the maintainer thing so the maintainer is deprecated uh, one thing you need to understand the maintainer is deprecated and if you want to implement the multiple maintainers means as usual i have told you that so you can use the label instruction so if you want to know more details about this one means so what you can do it is so you can search in the google or somewhere else so i will try to show you so docker file reference you can have uh, docker file reference and here you will be able to find all the references and all those things that's i will try to open this one so here these are all the docker file instructions which we are trying to learn we will try to learn one by one and we are able to see a maintainer here so when you click on this maintainer and here you will be able to see the maintainer and the name maintain instruction sets the other field of the generated images the label instruction is a much more flexible version of this and it, you should use it instead as it enables setting any metadata you require and can be viewed easily for example docker inspect so that one we have seen it right to set a label corresponding to the maintainer so instead of using the maintainer where they are telling that it is deprecated right so <clears throat> so here you can also use with the label i will try to explain you so how we can use this label and all those things so uh, uh, this is all about the maintainer which is a deprecated one so just i am trying to explain you that it is still ex existing so that's it guys about the maintainer concept in the next video we will try to learn about the run command that uh, nothing but run instruction so we'll try to see how the run instruction we will be able to implement so that's it guys about this one so if you have any doubts or any suggestions as usual so if you have any doubts so please post the comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and if you have any doubts or anything means so let me know in the comments i will try to give the reply this one all and also the docker thing and we have completed almost 30 35 uh, videos we have did it and also we are also you uh, doing the shots and all the things if anybody is interested means you can check my shots also so that's it guys about this one so thank you